Hello everyone. Today I'm just going to practice one of the case study from microbiology. I six year old boy presented to casualty during rainy season with complaints of profuse watery diarrhea since two days and effortless vomiting since one day. There is no blood in stool but diarrhea is accompanied by mild abdominal cramps. On examination, the child has sunken eyes, lost skin turgor, and has dry mouth. Fever is typically absent. Father informs that the intake of ORS has not shown any improvement. He also gives a history of eating pani puri on the roadside, the day before diarrhea started. The child's stool sample is collected and sent to the microbiology lab for further investigations. The investigations done are as follows. The given stool sample is slightly cloudy and watery, with mucus flakes and no blood. It resembles to that water in which the rice has been washed. So we can see many rod-shaped pink-colored organisms. This indicates that the smear shows gram-negative bacilli. Motility testing showed that the organism responsible for the disease in the child is actively motile with constant change in direction of motion. So since the organism is showing darting motility and is a gram-negative bacillus we can consider the organism to be Vibrio cholera, as it shows the same features. From its appearance the given culture medium can be identified as nutrient agar. We can see glistening and translucent colonies on the agar plate. In the given culture plate, a greenish clearing can be seen around the main inoculum, which indicates us that the organism is capable of lizing the blood cells through its metabolic products. Pale and translucent colonies can be seen in the given McConkey agar plate. The given culture medium is TCBS agar. It consists of this theosulfate, citrate, bile salts and sucrose at a pH of 8.6. We can see large yellow colored colonies due to sucrose fermentation. The given figure shows the string test. And it is positive. The colonies of Vibrio are mixed with a drop of 0.5% sodium deoxycholate. The suspension becomes mucoid. When that suspension is lifted with a looper string is formed. Based on all the above tests and the clinical presentation of the child with typical rice water stool, we can say that the organism responsible for the disease in that child is Vibrio cholera. The organism produces indole, utilizes citrate, produces urease and reduces the nitrates. The organism ferments glucose sucrose and mannitol with acid production but not gas. It also utilizes lysine and onidine amino acids. We can confirm that the boy is suffering from mild cholera. He can be treated with oral rehydration solution to correct fluid and electrolyte loss. He can be given erythromycin or erythromycin to decrease the volume and duration of fluid loss and hasten the clearance of organism in stools. Thank you.